it's five degrees. It's five degrees. It's also like six o'clock in the morning and we're about to leave. I need to be very quiet because I think the owners are still asleep downstairs. No makeup, too cold for that shit. All the clothes I own on at once. Bye, Dan. Bye. This boat is the biggest boat I've been in. Restaurant? Why is it cold so large? Why is it still cold in here? <laughs> so this is the tenth floor. It says. Apparently. Jesus. In here, fellow juicy in front of us. Hmm, I, I stopped the recording and now had to start again, again, again. Right. We've just arrived in Picton off the ferry. We really pooed our dacks because the ramp that we were on, the people in front of us, their ramp just like dropped. It scared the shit out of me. Um, over there, you can hire a uh, tiny boat for 20 cents to put on the pond or a moustache ride, I mean, train ride for 20 cents. That's a death trap. And here we have. Donald Duke and Marky Mouse. How you doing, Marky Mouse? Just, just enough to avoid a copyright. Monster dog koala. Monster dog koala. Monster gonna... dog koala. <laughs> oh, free ball! Quick ball! Go Where's kick it! Overall? Score a goal! <laughs> Boab! <laughs> <laughs> just had lunch in Picton. It's actually really good. Again, every single place we've had food at so far has been really tasty. And now we are just getting fuel and we're going to be heading off on the Queen Charlotte Drive to Havelock and then Nelson. It's meant to be about a two hour drive, even though by distance it's not as long as going like down and around. It's like quite a hairy track. So we should get some good lookouts though. There's a, a, a billboard man just looking at me. I might show you what he looks like. This is my mate here. 
Hey. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Ventura Highway. accommodation uh, it's called Amber Court and it's in Nelson I just wanted to like say a little thing because whenever I get treated really well by a business I'd like to share the love with other people so I told them that we're here on our honeymoon and look what they did full-size Toblerones full-size Toblerones they're not even gonna touch the side I'm just gonna just push it down my neck like a water bird. So, yeah. And it was 119 New Zealand dollars for the night, which is pretty good. You also get a gig of like Wi Fi, TV, all that sort of stuff. And it's one of the older style, like drive to the door motoring type things, but you can tell that they've done stuff to it. Like the kitchen's all renovated and nice, and they've renovated the bathroom, and I don't know. It's just really clean, like spotlessly clean which you don't usually get in these kind of motoring type places. So I'm very happy about this. So we're just going to chill for a little bit and then I might work out some sort of evening arrangements. That was a cool little chapel church something it's called the christ church which is very imaginative um it's an anglican church jesus house jesus hut so now we're gonna go to have dinner give me a wanker if you want to look my neck this is where we had dinner what just happened what's it called 623 in the city yeah it was a nice dinner i had it's the weirdest cannelloni I've ever had. They put sour cream on it and like spring onion. I think they were like, I don't know, is it an enchilada? We'll make it like an enchilada and just give it to her and hope she doesn't notice that it's not pasta. But it was actually pretty tasty, so that's fine. Who's for principles? So now we're going to go grocery shopping. I don't know. Maybe an albatross did it. 
Now we're going to go grocery shopping and buy breakfasting foods for tomorrow. Hi, friend. G'day. I was talking to the man in the poster. Nearly died. We just got back from dinner and then grocery shopping. Uh, now we're watching the Kiwi version of Cops. And we have jelly tips, which I'm going to devour. And then I'm going to have the world's longest shower wash my hair which is slowly turning green for some reason and then we're probably going to get a good night's sleep and maybe sleep in a little bit tomorrow because this morning we woke up at stupid o'clock and then Brent had to do heaps of driving so I think if we can get a good sleep before tomorrow's long drive that'd be a good idea so I'm going to sign off now and I will see you guys in the morning can you say anything? no <laughs> <laughs> Captain Scrolls no, I have to delete stuff off my phone so I can take photos. See what happens? I'm down to like 50 photos. I don't know why.